This is 15, 16, or 17? It don't even matter. Huh? Yo, we back for party number 17, 16, one of those two. I'm gonna have to double check. 19. I didn't know that 19. <laughs> but as you can see, there's a little bit of space over here. So, you know, we do got a guest today. And it's your boy. I don't want to do the whole you know, entrance I mean, like Don Francisco. Yeah, yeah, yeah boy. Coming uh, straight from Santana, California. You know what okay. I'm saying? My boy straight in LA now. Big in the, you know, DJ now here. And you know, okay. at the end of the day, our, our homies. So. so he has shit to say, bro. Yeah, yeah. Put it like this, bro. He's the biggest DJ in LA. Give it up for my boy, Mal P. Yeah. 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 Mal P. What's good, bro? What's good, what's good? I know, I gotta watch out with the shoes on. How you been, bro? Bro, bro been chilling, 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 working, busy, trying to find me a wife, you know? Damn, I'm, I'm like that. Everything, bro. All right, all right. Trying to get a You think you would marry a shorty, though, bro? Like, not thinking about it. Like, low key, I get that you said that. I, I feel like I would, but, like, gotta know her first. Well, yeah. You can't just marry nobody, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah, like yeah. in the next five, six years, I can see myself. You know, next, so wait, hold it around. 26. 26? Oh, okay, so what, like Married by 30? By 30? Yeah. I feel like I gotta have a kid by 30. Yeah, at least a kid. Like, okay. yeah, look, I'm trying to <laughs> settle down a little kid by 30, 31. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can't yeah. be in the streets forever, bro. If it was like, if it, it was, if it was a criteria that you're like, okay, the girl needs to have this, 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 so she can get married, like, what's your That's time? That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> one, she's gotta have friends. Okay. I can't meet a Guy friends? I mean, not like, nah. <laughs> okay. I mean, all kind of because I always had that debate with girls. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah, I feel like a not not a lot of people, or at least women now, have like a good support system and shit. Mm -hmm. I feel like oftentimes I've met shawty's like they try to get with my friends, and I'm like, bro, hold up. Oh shit, like, my friends are not your friends. Because then, like, if, I don't know about you guys, but like, if you date somebody that have like the same group of friends, it yeah. kind of gets weird. Yeah, so well, then kills it because then yeah. everybody has to choose a side. Yeah, so. and then like it just ruins the friendship. Yeah, 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 something yeah. like that. Look, our, our people gotta be separate. Yeah. Um, you had a shorty yeah. that fucked like on her friend before? That you that, were like talking what? to like that? Like a girl you were talking to like that fucked on your friend? Fucked on a friend? That your friend, like, like a guy friend? Um, nah, nah. I haven't had that happen to me. At least that I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I've never been. That's good. That's good. I never been cheating on. Jeez. No kid, that's what I think. Hey, so, I'm not gonna look, bro. I don't think I will, bro. I'm, I'm saying, I, I don't think I ever have either, but I'd rather yeah. not even know, bro. Even know. <laughs> you never know, bro. You yeah, really yeah. don't know. People be doing all kinds of things. Like, not even physically anymore, but I think Shadi's. Like, not the best intention. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Streets are cooked, bro. <laughs> that's like, the streets are <laughs> cooked, bro. The streets are cooked, bro. Because at the end of the day, I know I am a lovey dovey guy, bro. I do I do like being with a girl, but to trust a girl, bro, to me it's kinda like damn bro, it's kinda inevitable, bro. It is bro. Would I you feel like me? trust issues too, bro? Like I think if a shawty got trust issues, like I'm not your ex. Exactly. Like, boom, yeah, boom, they boom, always boom. bring down like their old like their old past yeah. with the tr troubles with their exes with you. Yeah, no, at the end of the day that's trauma. Would you get so married? Bro? You trying to that's deal with all that? <laughs> so, like, you're gonna get married? Huh? Would you get married like legally? I mean I have all my sacraments. To like, oh, get man. Man. <laughs> he's got the communion ready, bro. <laughs> got the communion, confirmation. I'm saying all I'm missing is the marriage. <laughs> Cause I always say, bro, if you get married with somebody, like there's I think there's no benefit to the guy. Like yeah, you get married. The guy really doesn't. I think a guy really doesn't want to get married. He just does it for the girl. Cause yeah. like be like, oh, I want to be on a love story, blah, blah. Cause you get a divorce, bro. Shawty leaves with everything. Yeah. Half, Half of your shit. shit. She ain't yeah. even work for Depending, it. Depending, bro. Um, you saw that soccer player, um, Hakim. Uh, no, no, no. Um, Hakimi. Hakimi. Mm -hmm. uh, Moroccan soccer player plays at PSG. Mm -hmm. um, so his wife tried to divorce him, thinking that uh, he, because he's getting paid money and stuff. Like yeah. he's getting paid like a lot of money. He has a high Where? salary. One of the best players in, in Europe. And um, basically, his wife divorced him with, I guess, those intentions. I don't know, but everything. Um, he's getting paid for it. all of his possessions are yeah. on, under his mother's name, so he has oh, technically yeah, nothing. Yeah. So then she, like, I guess, trying to divorce him, finesse him. He ended up winning, bro. City boys, yeah. They try to basically in a way like a finesse him, but he ended up winning at the end because his intentions weren't in the same place. Her intentions mm, were, right. you know, his intentions yeah. were like kind of like he secured a future, bro, because. Honestly, I would trust, my mom would be one of the people I would trust the most, like, yeah. any possessions of mine. Yeah. And they'll take care of it. Like, right. I do trust them. 
Would you guys get a prenup? If y'all, if y'all had to marry somebody, get a little prenup. I had to. Yeah. Would you? I feel like I would. I got asked, bro. Like I was dating this girl, and like we went on two dates. And on the second uh-huh. date, she popped up. She's like, "How do you feel about prenups?" I was like, bro, I just met you. On the second date? I just met you. Like, we you know, brought you out uh, to the crib and you're asking me what I feel about prenups. But it was crazy because I feel like it was my first time. But what'd you tell her? Like, ever getting asked that. Uh-huh. And I told her, I was like, I was like, low key, like, I think about it. Um, but it would be mainly to protect, like, stuff that I'm passionate about. Okay. Like, that I've worked, you know, hard for. Yeah. And I told her, like, you also don't got it like that. So, like, don't be coming and thinking, you're going to get something out of me. Yeah, oh, you told her? Yeah, I was like, don't yeah. And then she essentially was like, yo, um, I was in a relationship for like 10 years, uh-huh. so I'm not trying to Damn, like walk away 10 years? Of, like do something and then walk away yeah. without nothing. And I was like, you smart, but also like, nah. Wait, you were in a relationship <laughs> yeah. for 10 years? No, no, she was. She was. Oh, she was she in a relationship for like 10 years. The reason why she was like big yeah, That's about a real ass conversation though, yeah. bro. Like, yeah. at the end of the day, like. Yeah. But second date, bro? No, I it's, that's I mean, what it's a good question. Though. So when do you ask a shawty, like, yo, you trying to get a prenup? Is this like before you like, like give her a ring? No, but the thing is that she's asking you because obviously I guess she went through like the 10 years. So, I mean, it's being more straightforward. 10 obviously years in a relationship the, is Obviously, it's probably not the best. Someone should have told you, you could have, yo, <clears throat> we could have also mentioned to her like, oh, maybe it's not the best time. Maybe this right. is like some fourth date. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah, yeah. A month in, you Bob know, not, maybe least. not the first. <laughs> but 10 years in a relationship, what's the longest relationship been? Damn. Seven years? Seven Ooh. years? Seven years. This was already married. I didn't go. Are you married? Hey. <laughs> this was already yeah. married, basically, bro. No, no, no. You got married the, in Vegas? Or what? About the prenup, bro. Like, I feel like you should ask that after you after you propose already. Because, like, you don't even tell it before. Yeah. Like, after you after you, you uh, ask her to be your wife. Yeah. You bring up, okay, you, you're going to be my wife. She says yes. And then you bring up the whole, you got to sign this, this. Probably it was just like a conversation starter, but I get what right. you mean. Yeah, like, second date, she's kind of basically asking, like, but she wanted something serious or like it was just like casual? I think she was looking for something serious. Like she was talking to people, but like was looking for something like serious. Yeah, because some shorties are a relationship type. And yeah. I always feel like those are like the good girls, really. Because a girl is just over here hopping from day to day to day. It's like, <laughs> bro, like <laughs> how much, you know what I'm saying? How much but I feel like shorties do got to have their whole face. Or like they got to, yeah. like, I think we all need our whole face. Like got to go. You think a girl should have her whole face? We all got to. What's a lot of body counts for you? We all got a sample taste. What's a lot of body counts for you in there? Costco and shit. Uh, body count? <laughs> like, Costco. <laughs> uh, wait, what'd you say? Like, like what's a lot of body count body for bodies? you? Like, for you? I don't you? think I care, actually. You don't care? I don't care. As long as, like, you know, she be getting tested, has her thing, you know. It's like 100,000 bodies, bro. 100,000. What are you saying? Like, damn, like, you sure you want to try to do with me? That shit's going to go in, like, bodies? It's not like a porn star, right? What about I, if you dated, okay, what about if you dated a girl, right? You dated a girl, you're about to get married, like, you're like, damn, she's the one. And then she heads up to, ends up telling you, like, yo, I have, like, a thousand bodies. Damn. <laughs> I'd make it work, honestly. Because yeah. I know I got my own bodies. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, like, it goes back to the trust, bro, because there's a, like, you know, Blueface and, like, Christian and Christian Rock, yeah, no? Bro, crazy, bro, supposedly she cheated or whatever. Like, she on somebody else while she was pregnant, bro. Dang. So that's like that's crazy. Imagine dating a girl for a long time or whatever, and then she ends up like pregnant, and then she ends up cheating on you while she's pregnant. That's some Usher confessions part two, bro. Right there. That's so Usher's confession part two, right there. That's crazy. Confessions. <laughs> confessions. Yeah, it's confessions, bro. Cause that shit is crazy, bro. But how do you, how's it? You've been DJing right now lately too, no? I've been I've been doing it for a little bit. It's my I'm going on my second year uh-huh. of doing that for fun. It's dope. I got a chance to travel, see a couple cities, meet different people too. So and it's crazy how you can see that you can see all of that through really just dealing, bro, through music, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's right. I think I've I've been able to like see cities I've never been just because people are like yo, we we want to book you here. Like I just I just went to Portland recently too. How was and that? like it was crazy because I think for me, shout out to homie Matt shout out to Matt Chill. Oh, so Macho, he's Macho. He's Macho. He's Macho. He's Macho. Macho, shout out Macho. Put one out for him real quick. Um, he ain't dead, but you know. Because he, he lives in Portland, no? <laughs> yeah, he lives in Portland. Uh-huh. Um, so it was my first time. I always thought Portland was kind of like a white city, like uh-huh. you know, a bunch of white girls. But as soon as we stepped off the plane, bro, I was like, damn, that's a lot of like baddies. Yeah, it's a lot of like Latinas. Black very diverse. Women, environment. But it's a very yeah. diverse city, bro. Yeah. So I was surprised by like the food and the culture and like how fine the women were, bro. Yeah. Is it more like house over there, or was it more like? Was, more, was it a house event that you went to? Like, so we did like a. 
I would say not necessarily house. They were like we did play some house, but it's kind of more like open format. Mm -hmm. So it's more like we also play like baile funk, like reggaeton, and a bunch of those edits now that like people are messing with like you know classic nineties yeah. R and B, and then throwing like a little merengue beat. Like oh, bro, wow. <laughs> I just heard like the that song ski uh, on a merengue track. On a merengue shit, track. Yeah. Kind of bro, fly. they be mixing a lot of hip hop music with like Spanish yeah. music. It's and I crazy. like parties like that too, cause it's like you're playing for like the crowd, mm -hmm. but you're like trying out new stuff too. Testing yeah. music yeah. out always. Yeah, yeah. Cause you be cool. making your own mixes, no? Yeah, I've been trying to, bro. It's like you gotta spoon feed people. You mm -hmm. can't just give them the whole thing. But I feel like now more people are like appreciative of like corridos, you know, reggaeton. Corridos has been popping now. Yeah, bro. like for real, bro. Yeah. Like to see people like Peso Pluma like hitting like big stages like that's kind of cool. He just hit, he just did the VMAs. Yeah. The VMAs he was supposed to be like the first Hispanic to be at the, like at the VMAs to do the show. Oh, the VMAs. regional Mexicano in a way. Yeah. To be there like at the stage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I I feel like low key bro, I'm getting over the, the club scene, bro. Yeah. Like it's like I don't know like do you think clubs are gonna die out eventually? Because I, I heard about that, bro. I feel like I think people always want to look cool, uh -huh. so I think clubs may not die because like the concept of like. People want to go flex, uh -huh. but not everybody wants that. Yeah, like you get to your an age where like I don't need to be flexing nothing. Like I want to just vibe, bro. You know, like, just vibe, dance, chill. Like, but I feel that vibe, that's why bro. I fuck with house events because I feel that more at house events. Yeah, where everybody's just kind of doing their thing. Yeah, there's sections and stuff like that, like at exchange. Yeah, the one that you went to yesterday. You know how they have the sections upstairs. Yeah, but like nobody's really like cares Gives about fuck, that. Bro. Right, it's more right. about just like OC day parties and stuff like that where people want to flex and go to like get their table yeah. and stuff like that. And I think people want to meet more people. Like I think connection, bro. Like just like connect make connection with, with different people. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's different. I think like after the pandemic, people were like, "Yeah, let's turn up," but then now people are like retreating. They're like, "Uh, let me chill." Yeah. yeah. What do you think is like the age where a shorty sharing and we go into the club anymore, bro? Dang. I don't know, cause it's like you ever pick up a shorty after like she's at you know brunch with the homegirls, like that'd be kind of fire. You're like, hey, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know you gotta have a good time. Like, brunch be dangerous, bro, with the mimosas. Fuck yeah, bro. Sheesh. The also to be smacking, yeah, I could have had two babies bro. by now, bro. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, you said you have two babies? I said I could have had two babies oh, by now. Oh, you could have had two babies. I thought you said you got two babies. Nah, I'm like, nah, nah, nah. Got no baby moms out there. But I know. They don't. They are not. Shit. Shit. <laughs> well, what happened, bro? We, we said you, you had something to talk about, bro. bro. Then we have all things We need to some talk drama, about. bro. And we need all Let's things to talk about. Let's get into it, bro. Let's get into it. Damn. I think the craziest thing that has happened to me was like that prenup question. Like, I think for me, it just kind of, like, threw me off a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Especially if you're just trying to meet people and you're trying to get to know them. It's like, why are we, why are you asking me about prenups? Uh -huh. Unless, like, somebody's already, you know, like, they already come into my mind, like, I'm trying to bag you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of insane. That's what I'm saying. That's my mission. I was like, that's kind of, like, a little, like, trauma, traumatic, bro. Like, yeah. I guess she's been through something like that and it's kind of, like. Yeah. Like, and it goes like, back to, like, you know, it's not my fault. Like, yeah. Because <laughs> you know, you're. Somebody you come with up, a good yeah. open, like a good open heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? like, it's cause, bro. Honestly, some shorties be going through like crazy ass relationships, bro. Mm -hmm. Like you just said right now, the at the club where the guy smacked the girl. But yeah, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> bro, that's so crazy. By no way, we do not condone. We, we not do not condone violence. any violence, bro. Any violence, yeah, you know? Know? Free the homie. Free the homie. <laughs> <laughs> bro, how did it happen? Did the food just smack it? Yeah. So like, me and my boy, we were waiting in line for drinks. Uh -huh. And like, I don't know. We just see like this couple like arguing. Like, bros, like, yo, we, we finna go. Uh -huh. She's like, what'd you do? He was, I think, questioning like, where she do that. So we don't know what yeah. happened. But then out of nowhere, um, bro comes and grabs a drink, and he tells the bartender like, cause we were getting, we were trying to get drinks. Yeah. And she's like, wait, what the fuck's the exit? Cause he was trying to bounce. The so guy. all that happened after like so he like just I guess they were talking and then like all I heard was why the fuck did you do that and then you just heard the in the middle of the club yeah like it wasn't it was like a day party situation like uh -huh. a, like a warehouse so it was like a bunch of people around us so then I think all of us were like hey yo what the fuck and the security guard just came up and was like yo what the fuck and there's music her? going on no, he there's people her. drinking yeah like a lot first? of shit's going on so yeah, bro, something like that is and then like yeah. bro, bro started talking shit. He's like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, like whoever you know looks at me like I'm ready to go. And so then we were like, bro, was that fool like big or is he like? He was a little short, but you, can take you never know when somebody's like drunk and like they're being violent. Like you really know, don't know how, how it's gonna go. But I always say that people that be acting out of character when they get drunk doesn't make sense to me, bro. At all, bro. Like it doesn't make sense. I feel like they already like that. They just use the excuse of the yeah. alcohol. And so you don't know like after that, like. What even happened to the girl? So me and homie were like, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Like, like if the she fact left that she actually him, left. Yeah. Because if somebody's willing to do that in front of a crowd, 
That's you never know what he's doing behind closed, bro, doors, behind closed bro. doors. That's the yeah. word. Because yeah. that shit happened with like Dana White too, where they were kind of recording him. Yeah. But what do you like? They were recording him, right? And he was like up in the section, or whatever. And his girl like smacked him, and that fool just smacked the shit out of her, bro. Just yeah. like, boom. like in public, and it's crazy when you're famous or whatever. You really can't do shit, bro. It's like I mean, I personally wouldn't even hit a girl to be yeah. Would nah. you? Would you smack a girl, bro? If she hit you? Hell no, bro. That's what I'm saying, right? I'll Hell do the same no. shit. I'll just kind of remove myself. I'll tell the, the securities, be like, yo, get her out. Let's get her out. <laughs> if, you're, if you're Dana White, bro. I mean, we've been to the club when we we're kicking in some chicks, and those chicks we we're kicking in with got kicked out, bro. Which ones? In OC. With Duran. With Duran? At what event? So we had like, we got like a bucket of beers and stuff, and uh-huh. then we were ch- kicking in with some chicks from behind. <coughs> And then at some point, they got kicked out, bro, for, like, wild man. Oh, because they were wilding too much. Yeah, they bro. were wilding, bro. But we are just, you know, kicking back. Because some girls just be a little too rash, bro. Bro, Like, yeah. that's a turn for me. I remember one time, I remember we were, <coughs> we were going out to you with that one girl with a group of friends. No. I was just kidding. Ah, that's okay. He's about like, no, oh, bro. I shouldn't be watching you, bro. Watch out. I can't speak. No, no, what? We went out to Bottega Louis with the girls. Uh-huh. We all went out. And then, then the shoddy the that I was That's the most weird, ghetto. Bro. That's the most ghetto, like, dinner that you ever had, bro. No, Literally, man. girls were, like, screaming, like, ah, that bitch got it. And it was just, like, that shit was, to me, it was, like, a nightmare. Because it was, like, fuck. Hey, that's a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate being in situations like that where, like, people don't know how to act. Like, bro, this yeah. place is, like, nice, bro. Like, yeah. I don't yeah. want them. At least... Cause like if you're acting like that, you, that's a representation of me. Right. Exactly. So yeah. at the end of the day, it's like I want to come back. I want to keep on tipping them good. I want to keep on like eating that good and then not having yeah. no pre assumptions or like. Yeah. You know, What's shit. a red flag for you for a shorty, bro? Yeah. Red flag. Damn. Like where you're just like, like I if can't. she still talks to her ex or like his friends with her ex. Oh. I feel yeah. like you know I'm major. Not, I'm she not, has them in the close friends. Is yeah, it major? Close friends. <laughs> Or like on the favorites on the on the um you know how on iPhone you could like pin uh like a like a contact or something. Oh, you can. Yeah, you can. So I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, bro. Yeah. No, 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 you can, bro. Cause I I have like my family members. Am I on your yeah, close friends, bro? Huh? Sure. I, I mean, I share my location with you, but you don't share yours with mine. Damn, this you let me know. Hey, that's a red flag right there. Is it is it okay to share your location with your shoddy? Is that good or bad? I think so. I don't think. I've done that before, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it depends like, on the I'm stage, work, right? Bro. Like, the stages of, like, it's not going to be the first date. You're yeah. not going to share. Yeah. Like, damn. No, yeah. And I feel like it's about building trust, too. Because I feel like, think? yeah. Huh? What do you think? Hold on. Let, no, no, no go for it. Go for it. No, yeah. Like, sharing your shirt is a location where they go? Yeah. Like, you see. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, to me, bro, if a girl shares a location with me, I don't look at it as, like, oh, okay, good. Now I know where you're at. Because, bro, right. everybody, like, a shirt, if she really want to cheat, bro, she just leaves her phone at her house. She can change the IP thing, the shit that you said lesson, you could change it to your location. <laughs> bro, there's doing? way, like, bro, to me, <laughs> nah. to me, that's what's that, huh? He just changes his IP address, bro. But, Los mas calladitos. To me, it's like if a shorty, if a shorty shares a location with me, bro, I'm more like, like, okay, like, I have your location, but if you're going to cheat or whatever, she, you're still going to do it. Like, bro. she can have the guy pull up to her crib. Like, they're going to find out. To me, the location is like, whatever, bro. I feel like it's more... At some point, it, there's just... Yeah. And yeah. it's also being transparent. At some point, it's like, why the fuck do I got to hide or lie to you? Like, just right. be straight up. Yeah. You like it? You like it if you're being mad and you're just being mad by yourself because we're having a good time over here. You know what I'm saying? Like I always <laughs> tell shorties, bro. Like, I'm always honest with shorties, bro. Like, if they ask questions about another shorty or whatever, especially if I'm not taking you serious or not, right. not, not taking you serious, but we're just casually seeing or whatever. I want to be honest with you, bro. There's no point in lying, bro. To me, it's like, we're not kids, Definitely bro. don't, but, like, lying, I think, is important. But I do think girls lie more than guys, bro. Really? I, I do mean, think I mean, girls lie more I've had my own uh, lies here and there, but... <laughs> I mean, no one's lying, perfect, bro. Nobody is, bro. <laughs> Shit. I feel like, I mean, I think it's... Once you get to the point where you're, you have to go the extra mile to hide some shit, mm-hmm. like, that's just, it's like, it's on you. Like, you know, you can't be, especially yeah. if somebody's coming into you, like, yo, being honest and shit, whatever. Open heart, bro. Yes, you gotta be open heart, too, bro. So, yeah. I feel people get, too, like, traumatized and shit. Yeah. So, like, Chinese can't even, you know, they have all these trust issues because somebody else did them wrong. But, like, we're going back to, like, it's, it wasn't me, though. Exactly. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> you, me. Shaggy, it wasn't me. <laughs> like, no, but some shorties, some shorties, some shorties be crazy, bro. Because it's, like, like I'm saying, bro, at the end of the day, she's going to she gonna do what she's going to do, bro. And you can't stop her from doing bro. it, bro. Like what do you, you like? You, what do you think about sharing passwords though? 
I've never heard of that, bro. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can unlock my phone. No, I'm saying like Instagram passwords and shit uh, like that. Because I had this, bro, so there was this one girl, right? Uh, I mean, it's TMI, hopefully. I mean, I don't have her on anything, but she told me, I don't go fuck. She, but like, so there's a shirt that works. She'll she follow Give a like and subscribe. <laughs> I don't follow her on anything, but there was just this one girl that would work for us, bro. Yeah. And, allegedly, um, allegedly, work. Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, whatever. But I mean, this, whatever, bro. Bro, she had an ex that like, so she used to work here, but then she came back, and yeah. then um, her ex would like we waiting for her outside, bro, like kind of stalking her wow. and shit, bro, in her car, just like being there or whatever. And then she said that she would like the current boyfriend that she had, like she would still talk to her ex, and then she was like, oh now yeah, now I gotta give him my password. She he even has her phone like call logs, bro. Her call, so every text message she gets, he gets, she gets, or whatever, or call, whatever, he sees it. Is that talk to <coughs> Stupid, <laughs> bro. <laughs> At that point, just leave the shiny, yeah. bro. Yeah. Like, that I get it, because nice. if she lied, and she have lied. Her on house arrest, bro. Yeah, <laughs> bro, you basically have her on house arrest, bro. Don't even about, give her a phone at that point. Don't even give no her a phone. phone, bro. I'll pick you up. What time? 6.30? What time you get out? Uh, like, but yeah. at, what point, at what point do you feel like a, sh like a shawty just lying too much? Like, where you just feel like you got to do that, or you would just leave? I would just leave, bro. Like, I think right? as soon as somebody shows me reason, like, to not trust them, or, or they can't meet me where I'm at, and be like, no, I'm good. Yeah. I mean, it's taking me a while, but I'd be like, yeah, I'm good. How was, how was the seven-year relationship? I, was, I don't know I was good about the sales in a seven-year relationship, bro. And you know, I wasn't sales. Like, I was in college, too, when I met this guy. Uh -huh. So it was like, it was a long time. But then I think it got to a point where, uh, I, you know, I ended things with her, but then I was trying to get back together. Uh -huh. And then uh, she was, like, dating, bro. And at the same time, like, this was, you know, I was trying to, I was getting more money. I was getting booked for stuff. So I started, like, you know, buying like oh like you want some shoes ah, you some shoes you want some my boy was tricky you want a little teflor yeah. bag like you know throw your little teflor bag <laughs> I was going like <laughs> hey yo shawty's my P I don't do that shit no more cause it's like I think um, it was kind of more of like yeah I had fucked up in the past but I was trying to make it better uh, and then I think on the flip side um, I was trying to be all cool about it I was like okay I'm trying to win you back but I'm trying to be cool bro uh, tell me what she started dating uh and that first day that she went on a date with this little dude, I was at her crib. Because like, we had been like, you know. At her like, crib? Yeah, I was her, she was getting ready for it, and I was at her crib. Oh, you, know? you were at her crib getting ready for it? Yeah, she just, was getting ready to go on a date. And you had just piped? Yeah. And so she was like, oh, I, I, I think I had so much. She was like, yo, I'm not trying to go to the date no more. I'm like, yeah, just cancel shit. Like, stay here with me. Like, well, <laughs> yo. You know, I'll, I'll go pick up some food, <laughs> little situation, get a little dinner. At the time, she had a little doggy. So I was like, yeah, you know, I could just take care of your little doggy. <laughs> so anyways, I, I'm like, let me, let me just play it cool, you know, because it's like, you know, it's everybody's game. Yeah. Trying to, uh, yeah. It was like, but at this time, you, you guys were just dating, like, casually. Like, we, were, yeah, we were just fucking around. But you feel like you could date a girl casually if you had already dated her seriously? Nah, I think that's where it got blurred. Right. Because then you're like, nah, like, you, you know, you, you feel comfortable. And so then, like, I started prioritizing that. Yeah. And then, like, now she's with the old dude. She was, oh, she's with the two yeah, dating right there. Right that's her man now. And I was like, hey, shit, that's crazy. Yeah, to me, is bro, if I'm dating a girl, and then let's say we break up, we're going to break or whatever, yeah. and you already win, even if you went on a date with somebody else, bro, I can't do it, bro. Yeah. I can't, bro. Like, it doesn't, like, the fact that you're already popping on somebody else, like, it's not, I can't do In it. The way it's not organic no more. It's not. The build up, too. Yeah, kind of more of a right. calm down. <laughs> yeah, but that's crazy that you were right there. And I was, was right there. Like, it's, it's, you kind of saw, like, like the process of her trying to, you know, trying yeah. to as a UA. But I always say it like you like in order to really trust not not trust a girl but to really get more info on her is like if you see certain shit or whatever. Yeah. Like not even bringing it up and making a complaint about it because then she's gonna become more secretive, like more Fuck hiding yeah. her shit and stuff yeah. like that. Cause and that and bro, and that's crazy because like I used to have her at the crib, and so like one day I caught her like uh, texting the old dude, and she was like saying she be sending news at my crib. So like when we f I first was like yo, it's <laughs> <you're> fucking <laughs> yo. crazy, bro. Like. To be like comfortable in my crib, wearing my shit, uh, eating my food. That's low key disrespectful. I'm like, that's just crazy. Yeah. Bro, I was it's talking like to this one girl one time, and it's TMI, but like, I gotta do it for the party, bro. I was talking to this one girl one time, bro, and bro, I like, I said, fuck it, like, I'm gonna check her phone and shit. So I checked it out, bro. She has sent, like, uh, the same note that she sent me. She sent that shit to <laughs> three guys, bro. The same one! <laughs> I was That's like, bro, at least switch it up. Like, give me, make me feel <laughs> special. Give me a. You trying to fucking throw content manager and shit? <laughs> like, yo, I'm like, yo, shawty, make, make this it, shit interesting. Make this shit interesting, bro. That's but crazy. girls are sneaky, bro. Cause one time, yeah. I went to Vegas, <laughs> bro. 
And I never said this story, bro. But like, I think I already told you. Is it time for that, bro? Is it time for that? That story was crazy, bro. Like, so I went to Vegas with this one shorty. And I already know, like, to me, no girl is not talking to nobody. Yeah. Like, especially when you just meet her or whatever. She's always talking to somebody. And then we went to Vegas, bro, because I had a, I went for an event or something. And while I was gone, like, at the event, she yeah. hit me up. And she's like, yo, like, I got to go. Like, my mom got into an accident. Like, I got to go. I got to go. And I called her, and I was like, yo, like, you good? I was just like, yeah, it's like, I got to go, blah, blah, blah. Like, and I was like, I'm like, are you good then or what? And she's yeah. like, like, you don't hear me, blah. Like, I'm, I am got to go. And I was like, all right, bitch. Like, damn. Like, okay, go. There's no problem. But I knew it was a lie. Like, mm. the thing that I hate the most is when a girl, it's not even about the lie. It's the fact that you feel like the you beach. can lie to me and I'm really mm. not going to know. Because I'm too many years in this game, bro. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. surely can't lie to me, bro. So then, I, like, she dips, whatever. I go back to the telly. And then I call my boy Hector. He, my boy Hector came to Vegas I slid in, in that Vegas, same bro. hour, bro. I was like, all right, I'm on my way, bro. <laughs> hop on the private jet. Hop on the jet. <laughs> Let's go. But then um, I look at my at my request, bro. Because I look at my Instagram, and then I'm like, oh, should I have a request? And then I go to the request, and there's a guy that hit me up. He's like, yo, do you know this girl? And it was like her app. And I was like, oh, yeah, bro. Like, what, what, what's up? And she's like, oh, did you hear about her mom? And then I was like, like yeah. And then that food just saw it and didn't reply nothing. And then I was like, Here my what's up with Disney? Like, what's yeah, up with him, right? Yeah. And then um, the next day, that food hits me up. He's like, yo, this is my number, bro. Hit me up. I was like, hey, yo, what? What the fuck, bro? And then I text him. I text him. I'm like, yo, what's up, bro? He's like, yeah, can I just ask you something, bro? And he's like, I'm like, yeah. He's like, did you and the girl do anything? I'm like, nigga. Hey. I'm like, nigga. I'm not trying to put her business out there, but we're in Vegas, bro. Like, what yeah. you think, bro? Sin City, bro. Sin City. We're in Vegas, bro. Like, what you think, bro? And he's like, I'm like, why is she a shawty or what? And then he's like, yeah, like something like that. And then I was like, Yo. damn. And then that food, I was just like, oh, well, I don't know, bro. I'm not trying to say her shit, but she's in Vegas. I'm like, oh, so you picked it. So you picked it up in Vegas, huh? This food drove. At 7 in the morning from L.A. to Vegas, bro, oh, to pick goodness. her up. And I had just, in that morning, bro, before that, that food picked what her up. What did he tell her? Like, oh, the mom? Like, I guess they came up with that idea. Like, that shit was fake. That's crazy. Like, she let her, she let her said the whole situation about her mom or whatever. And then was lying about it, bro. Really saying that her mom got into an accident. Putting, putting your mom just on putting, like yeah, that. Like it's, well. Putting your mom in a okay. situation. This karma, just bro. Like a hoe. That's a hole, bro. <laughs> and, then I, <laughs> and then that shit happened and she hit me up. She was like, she was like, oh, like this guy is a stalker. Like I'm trying to get a restraining order on him or whatever. Mm. But I didn't even reply, bro. I was mm. like, bro, it's like whatever. And um, like three weeks later, they start dating. <laughs> bro, <laughs> that shit is crazy. They so became official. Never trust after a girl that. that says she got a stalker. Never should no, but it's like, bro, <laughs> no, you're going to that extent to yeah, lie, bro. To lie, yeah. What's the craziest lie you, a shorty has ever told you, Damn. bro? I feel, I feel like I, I've been on the side of I've lied before too, mm-hmm. like who whoever you hanging out with, but but like swearing on like moms, because bro, shorties. One time a yeah. shorty was lying, and I knew she was lying. She put the shit on her dead grandpa, bro. Damn. <laughs> She's like, I put it on my grandpa. Then it's crazy. No, it's just too much. Like, to <laughs> yeah. the point that it's kind of like I can't even trust you, bro. Like yeah. I can't trust you because if you're going to the extent. But what's the uh, sh- uh, biggest lie a shorty has? Oh, what's the biggest lie you told a shorty? No, uh, <laughs> I feel like I think so. When I was like trying to trying to, uh, I was still in contact with my ex. Uh-huh. Um, I started dating somebody else, and so I was like not fully. I was just not open about like yo, I'm seeing both of you at the same time. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. we hanging out at the same time. I think until I, I, up until I got caught, and I was like, I'd be like, oh no, like she's not on my phone like that. <laughs> well, I blocked her, and so I think that's when I got caught. I was like, wait, hold up, let me not be trying to make both of them, cause yeah. it's like karma, bro. That shit comes yeah, back. Yeah, it does. Like if you put out a lie, and like it's going, you know, come back out. Like somebody's gonna find out. Yeah, I think that's what happened. It'll find a good girl, bro. Cause yeah. all the good girls that I had, one of them is already married. Like at the beginning, well, I'm seeing a girl right now. She's pretty cool, bro. She's pretty decent, bro. Yeah. But like. You know, I'm like, I'm watching this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but like at the beginning when I was dating, bro, I feel like I dated like good girls, yeah. and I just would kind of, I would get bored, bro, and I will just mm. dump them. And then I went on a spree where I just dated pretty ratchet shorties, bro. Like that shorty, the one that sent three guys the same news, bro. I was like, damn, bitch. 
She had in the starting five, bro. She had in the starting <laughs> five with like a football team and shit. <laughs> yeah. Bro, but that shit is just crazy in that situation where you feel like you can't even trust a shawty like that, yeah. bro. I feel like the worst lie is just kind of like a shawty's hiding like how intense like, the relationship is with somebody else. Yeah. Or like, oh, that's just a homie. Or like, yeah. And it's like, you don't got to like lie to that extent to be like, oh, this, this is nobody in my life. Cause mm-hmm. then like in the back you're like you know either fucking him or you know yeah. shit. so I think that for me is like what bothers me the most. Exactly. Like, just be honest up front. Like if you're trying to fuck, let's fuck. But if you're trying to you know relationship, let's think about it. Exactly. Cause yeah. I never bring it up, bro. Like when I'm talking to Shardy, I never bring up relationship because the Shardy's the one supposed to bring that up. But then I it's like peep the game. Like, peep the game. No, you got peep the game too. But yeah, like I never, I never. Listen, that's game right there. Like you're never supposed to be the one to tell the Shardy like, yo, what are we type shit. Like it's supposed to come from the girl. Really. I honestly feel that. Yeah. How come? Because. The whole relationship dynamic and uh, wanting a relationship and stuff like that is the idea from the girl. Like, if you're bringing mm. it up, you don't know if she's kind of wants that or is too ready for that. Chicks like to be claimed in a way. Now. Yeah, like, yeah. You're, you're basically telling her, like, oh, like, I, like, if you start bringing, like, oh, I want a relationship with you, she's, and you, maybe she's not on the same page right. yet, she's probably going to be, like, oh, you're, like, you're trying to steal her freedom from her. Mm. So... The, when she brings it up and it's her idea she's like oh like what are we like yeah. whatever like she's not gonna tell you like I want a relationship yeah. but if she comes up to you and tells you like oh what are we like I'm yeah. only seeing you or whatever then be like oh what do you mean and yeah. then she's like oh well I think la 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 and then she brings it up as her idea the relationship but I also That's think true. that this is Actually, true I feel like for me it's like I've never asked a girl to be my girl it's just like you just like, around often yeah 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 we it's more practice, not yeah, theory. Yeah. yeah. What's the biggest like you told Shadi? Or Shadi has told you? Uh, telling. Oh, okay. Biggest lie. I'm pretty sure they weren't even. They didn't even know they were lying. But like telling them, they telling me they were single, when they were not single the whole time. Oh, that's <laughs> crazy. Bro. Like from the start, bro. That's crazy, bro. And me believing it and being like, you know, okay, cool. Like if you're seeing other guys, it's crazy. It's, like, it's crazy already, but. Well, if you're like have another like boyfriend like a whole ass boyfriend bro so she had like a long distance relationship on and off so that's mm. why it was also like i guess it's yeah. very also very um normal to think about about it like being single and stuff like that mm-hmm. but it wasn't like that you know in practice it was more of like would y'all be able to do long distance relationships i did it bro, i did it you did it yeah, yeah you did it too yeah how was your experience bro Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> <He's a> terrible. <laughs> yeah. You're over there in the you, fucking computer you face. You learn right? you, you, like, you, you, yeah. you need that also to parque te demas colmillo too, you know, you gotta yeah. know. And I can't also, do long distance, bro. To know that it's not for you too. Well, that's how I know I was like, oh, it's not for me, really. Yeah. I've tried it two different shotties actually. Didn't work out with either one of them. Yeah. But at least we gave it a shot, right? Like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not like not down to not give it a shot. That's if right. I fuck with you, yeah. I'm willing to do it. But it also taught me to not fuck with it like that. You know, right. to not fuck with the whole long distance. I'm not the type of person like that, bro. My what, what type of long like, distance was it? Was it like you guys were together for a minute and then she moved? Or was it like you met her? In the two different situations, one of them, to, to answer that question, one of them, the first um, time around, uh, was I was with them. So it was like normal, right? Normal relationship. Yeah. Um, left and stuff for, uh, for college. And um, I was still there and stuff like that, which was like... You know, everybody has their needs and, you know, right. a human being at the end of the day, affection. Also, just attention for, like, that I give and that I want to, you mm-hmm. know. Bro. Um, and it just, yeah, it didn't work out. But How was it your, was also great. Like, how was your experience, bro? Bro, I've done that a couple of times. I mean, the, the most recent one, Shadi was in the Bay. Shout out to San Jose. <laughs> <laughs> SJ. And, and SJ, bro. And, and, like, we had been together before she moved. And then, like, she had always talked about, like, moving to the Bay. Also, it wasn't, like, long distance at first. Nah, it wasn't. It was, like, she was, like... Because even for, like, I, I'd be, like, we in L.A., but, like, Orange County, that's, like, an hour. Uh-huh. Like, I feel like you're not as long distance. But, like, her, I was seeing her from, like, here to, like, the Bay. And so, like, every month, I was, like, at least once a month, I'm going to come see you. Was she come, like, was she come see you? She would come see me, too. Oh. Like, I think the first couple times, she flew me out there. She yeah, was kind of like, like, was getting blown out. Getting blown out. Yeah, I was getting flown out. Uh-huh. And so it was cool. And, but I think, too, like, when, like, shorties are, like, insecure, like, you know, you be telling, like, yo, like, you, I got a solid spot for you. Because at least for me, like, if I fuck with the, with the person and I really like them, I'm going to make that space for her. Exactly. Like, and so, you know, I be working a lot. So I'm like, look, at least once a month I could commit to seeing you. And I told her, like, I, I don't ever want you to feel like I'm trying to have you come back here. Like, cause she was also working, going to school. So I was like, "You do your thing, be independent." And then if it, you know, if it brings us back where we can live in the same city, 
great. Yeah. But then I think at some point she was like, yo, I'm not happy. And I was like, all right, like, so it's not going to work out. Oh, she just said, like, she's not happy. Yeah, she's she was like, like that? Well, it was too long distance. Uh-huh. Like, insecurities was coming up. She, she essentially, like, working in the music industry, bro, or, like, being a part of it, it's like, you always have to be so social. And you're always meeting people. Oh, bro. You're, like, yeah. networking with people. Which I was going to say, bro. Oh, she like, wouldn't like you going out? your sweater, bro. Yeah, we got to talk about my sweater real quick. But, but then, like, for that type of stuff, and, like, I would bring her to the events, and she started being like, oh, like, who is this person? Why do they feel all comfortable? So she started getting like in her head about it. Or, do you think? Or though? they see like, or they see that they give you like hugs, and they just showing love, you know. Yeah. And they might not be what they're used to, and they see it. It's kind of like jealousy in a way. Yeah. But they're also like, it also might be an insecurity from them. So yeah. it might also be a projection. But at the end of the day, right? Because you know? she she was like, yo, I feel like somebody's gonna come. Like she's like, I feel like I'm temporary. Like somebody else is better gonna come. They are gonna take my spot. But, 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 but like, why but you it's making? Like, I don't, why I don't, you don't know, know, bro. Me? I yeah, don't know though crazy. because if a girl really likes you and she really wants to be with you, she's not gonna say that. Like yeah. I think that girls that start saying that and start doing that and acting like that is because they already talked to somebody else. I think they're projecting. Sometimes they're projecting. Proje- yeah, sometimes. They're projecting, bro. They project something the other, right? Yeah. Or sometimes it's just like stuff that somebody has done to them in the past. So now they're 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 like kind of like yeah, but but a girl that really likes you and really loves you, she's not yeah. gonna leave you, bro. Like, mm-hmm. and if she starts being like, oh, I feel like someone's going to come take care of you. Like, making excuses as to, like, breaking up is because yeah. she's seeing somebody else. Like, I heard about that and I started talking, like, I, yeah. in the podcast. Because I like watching stuff about, like, yeah, girl and guy just, dynamic because yeah, yeah. it kind of helps me out. But it really does. Right. And it changed my mindset. Just a lot of shit that I'd be watching. And it's true, bro. Like, a girl that starts blaming you a lot for, like, cheating and doing all that shit she's is because she's doing it too, bro. Yeah. Also vice versa. Yeah. Also vice versa, or a right. guy. If this will vice versa. I, mean, I can't say something about Charlotte's because we're not trying yeah. to get cancer. It's like, <laughs> vice versa. Vice versa. Too. <laughs> and I feel like, I don't know about you guys, but like, I feel like sometimes like the girl, like, the girl's friends have a role to play. A oh, oh, like, if a big girl, some type of way, she feels insecure. Like, oh, my man's doing this. And her friend's like, yeah, your man ain't shit. Like, blah, blah. Like, she probably is cheating. Bro. And like, that is... is, is, is it, it gets dangerous, Snaps. bro. It's it's like, that's, that's, <laughs> if her friend is a, a hoe, she's a hoe too, bro. bro. Three hoe. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, it might, maybe not, but like, no, but no, but ninety percent of the time, maybe yeah. Like most. What's, what's yeah, that like, uh, biggie, biggie lyric? Like you can be, you can bring my friend. I'll bring my friends. You can bring your friends. We'll do this every bro, weekend. Bro, girls, girls, like they're they're very lucky. Cause remember when we went out to eat that day, right? When we went out to eat with the shuddies, bro. The girls were all like, oh my god, like, yeah, because we took them out to eat, like, at a good spot. We were like, yeah. bro, the shorties had never fucking, like, experienced some shit like that, and it's kind of concerning. Guys, you can tell guys don't take them out. It bro. wasn't even, <laughs> like, the bar is so low, bro. Bro, it, so was, low. it wasn't even a crazy-ass spot either, it but wasn't. it was a good spot, yeah. and they were like, oh my god, like, yeah, your man treats you good, he takes you out to eat, or whatever the fuck, like, we, wow, this is such a nice spot. And we had gotten into an argument that same day, and then I was just like, bro, like, because I get when I get heated, bro, like, I'm just like, bro, fuck off, like, get the yeah. fuck out of here, same shit. But then, like, literally when we started arguing, because she couldn't really, like, because my thing is, like, we're arguing, I'm not going to show it, yeah. you know? And then she was the one showing it because she started crying in front of everybody. I was like, oh, my fucking God, bro. Drama. And then, and then right that same day, bro, after them saying, like, oh, he's very good, he's doing whatever, yeah. that same day later on. She would, they were like, ah, oh, fuck him, blah, blah, blah. like, he's not gonna do anything, like, oh my god, like, you leave him and stuff like that. That same day. Damn. So it goes back to what you're saying that girls do be kind of like, oh. yeah. like, especially when they go out to, like, in groups and the girl has a boyfriend or whatever. I don't think a girl should go out to, like, the club and stuff like that because mm. the girls are gonna do what the other homegirls are telling her to yeah. do. They're very, you can convince a girl, girls can convince each other to do a lot of things, bro. Also yeah. vice versa. <laughs> also vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, every time we go out to be telling us, look at some shotties, bro. So don't get no shotties, bro. <laughs> or, like, be a good wing him, woman. Like, look, if you're trying to help your girl, like, get a, you know, get a dude, like, be a good wing woman, but that's it. Yeah. We're trying to help your girl get a dude? No, like, if, if like, let's say, oh, you're, you're let's say your, your shotty is with her homegirls and her, your home girl single and you, you want you know if she's a good wing woman to her like, yeah she's single yeah. yeah but i do feel like like girls though i think when they be feeling insecure like it, it's like uh your homegirls are gonna be behind you yeah like oh you deserve this you deserve that which is good but i think sometimes it's like they get the wrong idea that it's, it's something not that's really not be, it's not good behavior long term yeah it's not because yeah. it's kind of like well it's not kind of like it's it's, it's more like you, like like you can yeah. you believe in lies you're also you're not willing to just put in the extra work for yourself. Right. You know, to do that right. extra, get that stuff 
for yourself like do that shit like going to eat by yourself you know yeah. you know big yeah sometimes i go like bro i'm craving something i'm yeah, not gonna go to know. fucking korean barbecue or, like by myself either bro. Hey, but there's, you like, could, there's spots you could go by yourself bro. Actually, yeah crazy. there's places in been, japan bro, bro. <laughs> there's restaurants in japan yeah. that are just i haven't been but i'm saying i've heard that yeah. there's restaurants in japan where there's single like tables where That's you could just go out to eat by yourself and yeah, like, like there's a lot of lack of space there. do you think though that girls like guys that get girls though like, cause you know how you were talking about how you you didn't want to you didn't want to you didn't want to want to tell the two girls that you were talking to that yeah. you were kind of like you know what I'm saying. But I've noticed that every single time, cause in my Instagram, bro, my like, well, right now I'm talking to a girl, so I kind of lowered it down. I'm chill yeah. about it. <laughs> but like, bro, I'll be posting all my shit there sometimes. Like, I'll be posting a little too much sometimes. I ain't even gonna lie. But like, girl, I feel like girls like it when you get other girls, bro. I feel like since it's like the attention, if they see like you getting attention, uh-huh. I think people are naturally attracted to like, oh. Why, why why does he get the intention uh-huh. but I feel like I don't know I think I, it's like when do you communicate with somebody you I'm also talking to other people I feel like you don't say it though mm-hmm. like they'll just they'll just know like if you're if you get girls or whatever you're not gonna be like yeah I get girls or whatever they'll that's just see the, it that's yeah bro it's cause also that's like a bragging in a way and it's like yeah. that's the type of thing that's kind of like if you're out here saying I get girls wrong. and do that it's because you, I feel like you don't get Yo, girls what are you supposed exactly. to say when a girl asks you like yo are you seeing other people I'm be like, I mean, I'm doing. I'll be like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? By no, but perfect example, bro. Yesterday, I go to the show. Shout out, I went to see House Now, but um, Space Yacht yesterday, bro. Mm. And with the homies, I pulled up, and um, you know, good. It was good at show. Pull, basically, pull up. We pull up to the front. We got there early, whatever. And then, um, so we went. The homie, the homie had his girl, and then I went with another friend too and then we were all dancing the whole time but the thing is that like when other chicks see you with other chicks they're already automatically like there was some guy that was next to us tripping he's like oh bro you bumping into me blah 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 oh he was, was tripping on you yeah bro but i was like look like i took him as like bro i don't care like that's you gotta deal with people like that especially in crowded yeah. cross the places i was like okay i'm i'm actually used to this as like whatever i was like i was like oh shit you know my bad bro i'm just dancing you know it's cool yeah. like he's like all right yeah, yeah. and then but he told me again he's like bro you still bump me into him. i was like bro my bad bro i'm just dancing type shit Fuck, I bro, hate people like that. <clears throat> the good thing is that bro. he didn't have the like too bad of an ar- attitude he kind of also like okay whatever but the thing is i would have been like bro point, there's more space over there bro go over there Hella shoddy start pulling up and just da- dancing with like, you know, the girls I was with too. And then yeah. after that, this fool, a la verga, bro. He opened up. He opened up. Like, the shoddy's pulled up and this fool was like, he left. He left, he bro. Left. And then all the sh- they, hella shoddy, just, I was just surrounded by shoddy's and we were just like having a good time. But what mm-hmm. I'm saying is, um, shoddy just feel more, way more comfortable. Women in general just feel way more comfortable with you as a guy when there's older chicks. Yeah. Like, involved, yeah. you know? So that's always, you know, just game, bro. Like, just, you know, have other dance. If you're not like used to dancing with random, like just dance with a random chick, bro. Yeah. Like you know, just not to have fun, bro. Like at the end of the day, just yeah. having fun. Mm-hmm. Might get to meet them. They they um the other shotties shotties hype up the other chicks. You know, everybody has a better time, bro. Yeah. And and you get the weirdos to leave, bro. Like dead yeah. ass, bro. That's why they're there, bro. They like the energy of like, cause at, at the end of the day, I, I understand also like today in this day and age, um, and with social media and everything, there's just a lot of weirdos, bro. People don't know how to act, especially in like social places and then when you are in that position of like yo like i said bro the one foot that was outside the warehouse bro just looking at looking at the girl yeah. like binoculars this was just in the corner bro waiting for her to come out yeah and it's like bro there's seven billion eight billion people here and half of them are shorties one, yeah and you're gonna if you date a new girl every single day for the rest of your life you're still not gonna get through all the shorties in the world so it's like, bro, if you're in that situation where you feel like you can't get girls, like a lot of folks be jealous too, bro. They see you getting girls. Motherfuckers just be jealous of the even, weirdest shit, bro. The thing shit, is, bro. That it's not even like I don't want to say it's not important, but it's like it's not important enough, bro. It's really just yeah. you know, you're just doing you, having a good time, and just trying to make memories with other people at the end of the day, you know, whether you know you're yeah. in the future or not, yeah. <clears throat> making memories, bro, and like at the end of the day, you know, yeah. saving. That's that. why I feel like I don't look at relationships like I'm 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 in a relationship to marry you. Yeah, it's, like, it's seeing the shoddy day, like, day by day. Yeah. Like, you always got to take it day by day. Like, Every I was just day telling... Is a new day. <laughs> I was just telling the shoddy yesterday, though, because I was kicking it with her, and I was just like, yeah, like, how do you how, how do you see it? Like, you like planning on the future? I was like, nah, like, I just like taking it day by day. Like, because to, tomorrow you might not even feel the way that you feel about me right. today, or I might not feel about you the hey, same Nipsey way that I said that, bro. Someone so, might wake up not loving you, but that... But tomorrow the $100, $100 bill, bill is still going to stay. You're going to stay $100 Exactly. So, I feel like as a guy, you got to... inflation, though? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what you do with it is up to you. You can always invest it in whatever. It's way you think want. about inflation. 
<laughs> yeah, like just it's taking it day by day, bro. Because the shoddy also when you put too much importance and and make the shoddy think like that she's your world or whatever, they lose attraction, bro. Mm. I feel like they lose attraction because at the end of the day, it's like you just, so you just gotta work on your purpose and whatever it is that right. you're doing. Because if you got no money and you got no this or whatever, what are you gonna do? Right. You know, you can't have no money to take her out. You can't do things, and it's just like she ends up getting bored, bro. Right. Like it's just the way that it is. And I feel like, especially in LA too, I feel like women do come with this certain perspective, especially if they're not from the city. Hell like they come from this perspective of like, <clears throat> hey, you going you know, be buying me this, like taking me to these places, and like, yeah, of course, a girl wanna feel special, but like, when you come with the preconception that I'm gonna get you something to make you look good. I mean, bro, you were giving me that shoddy like, bags and everything. Know, like, <laughs> it's like, and it's like, you know, that's what like, I guess it's like city girls up, cause. You know, you be you be falling. I mean, I know I'm falling for it. Like, yeah, yeah, let me let me make you feel special. Let me make you feel you know good. But like, it's all material shit. Yeah, yeah. So I think and it's and it is true because in yeah, LA, bro, really everybody be posting everything, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, all my man posted. But this is the thing. Like a lot of girls, this is girl game too. A lot of girls want the experience of like a guy buying her everything, and taking yeah. her to this place and this and that. But they don't act like a girl, bro. They trying to be masculine and try to be like mm. always trying to kind of like control the guy and like just giving me a hard time if you put mm. yourself as a girl in a in, in a feminine and all oh, adding value to the guy mm. like how do i mean by that like everywhere you guys out you make him look better by having manners oh baby you want me to help you with this or oh, this and this the guy by nature by nature he's gonna be like damn she's a good girl i'm gonna buy her mm. this but a lot of girls want to have that whole like ah fuck you man, and still want to get bought shit you're not gonna right. get bought yes. shit right. yes, like all the is. yeah it's, it's like bro all the shorties that are like get all the shorties Boss. that get like, all the shorties that get mad shit from their guys or whatever if you notice are the bad shorties but because they're already fucking like corneudas bro and it's a game bro i think for them it's a game <clears throat> Like, I think it's, again, like, you know, to be taken care of like that, it's a game. But it's, like, there's people I love that shit, and there's people, like, yo, like, trying, I'm not trying to take care of nobody. Like, like I, I as a like, guy or the girl? Yeah, no, as, as a, I'm not trying to take care of, like, uh, at least for me and, like, my the girls I date is, like, they got to be independent. Like, yeah. you got your own thing going yeah. on. Like, you're passionate about something. Whereas, like, me, like, you, like, what kind of value are you adding to my life? Exactly. Like, I know yeah. I come with value, but, like, <clears throat> what are you coming with, too? So, I don't know. Do, do y'all, like, be dating, like, independent shawties? Yeah. Like, yeah, I prefer independent. Yeah, women. Prefer. yeah. I mean, if she's a hardcore feminist. I prefer it because mm. you know she's also comes with. A Wait, feminist, feminist, feminist like, is bad, huh? <laughs> feminist I mean, is not bad. That's bro. why. <laughs> no, feminist. I'm talking about like feminist. Like I'm uh, saying, what I'm saying is like she's more like like about herself, like free about herself and something mm. like that. I, I mean, if she's coming like that, I don't mind that. Mm. But you know, not saying because feminists are like the ones that that's be talking like. I mean, maybe you like it. I don't know. No, I do like it, bro. Like no, you like it. The girl that says like fuck guys and stuff like that. It's a challenge for me. Yeah. Yeah, you like that? You're like, let me change. He's he's trying to change the world, bro. Yeah. He's trying to change the world. I didn't even know. I didn't even know you like that though. You like you like that? Like a girl being like, oh, you like lesbian guys. chicks. Hey, you, you, so you want her to be <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 like him a little lesbian? You, want, you like him with a little bus cut? Oh, she, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> she gotta get her. She going to get it with the, with the fade with you at the barber shop, bro. Jeez. But the, but tell me more about that, bro. Cause I, like, why do you you like a, why do you like a? Feminist? Well, it's just one of the many. I like, you like I a challenge. I like I like mm. something different, bro. I always like something different, whether it's like race, ethnicity, like just as you as a person, character, mm -hmm. something a little bit different. I think that's also like what kind of like attracts me to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's no like actual like frame for it. I just that's. For sure, I'm down. It's like a yeah. challenge, right? You like you like shorties that are like feminists and stuff like that too. I mean, like I think it it depends. Like I, I think for me, it's like I like somebody who like has a goal or something they're working towards. Like yeah. if shorty got like a little side hustle or like you know something that she loves, cares about, great. Because I feel like it's hard for me, and I've been told this before. Like I've dated shorties that are like oh you you grow too fast or <laughs> you're doing too much, and I'm like I don't want I don't want somebody to slow me down. So I feel Doing like too I, much like what? Like, 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 oh, you, you, like, why are you working so much? Why are you going out so much? Especially when you work in this type yeah. of industry, like, you do gotta go, like, to events and show up to the homies, you know, to get bookings yeah. and like yeah. build those relationships, go out for coffee with people, you know, including other shotties, like, you know, just to like build relationships. But I feel like. I can't kind of be somebody like questioning like why I'm, why am I doing all this? Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. It comes from a place of like I want you at the, at the crib. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, we could kick it, but like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, yeah. For yourself, like, what are you working towards? Well, you know what I noticed is because girls don't understand it because for mm -hmm. guys it's more about 
purpose, you working, trying to reach your goals, and girls are more about experience. Girls like to just have fun and this and that. They're not really looking at us in the long term because they're, they're girls, they're the young and stuff like that. Right. So whenever you're always working, 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 I feel like a girl just really doesn't understand in the sense where you're trying to achieve whatever it is that you're trying to right. achieve. Because a girl, like today, I went with my mom too, and her tias came from like Houston, and then one of them was like, oh, well, yeah, because you got to go out and stuff like that. You got to go out and travel and do your thing. And I was like... I just don't, I feel weird when I'm not working. Like, if I'm not working during the week, bro, if it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, and I'm not working, I feel weird, bro. Mm. Like, I don't know. I just don't like it, bro. Yeah. I don't like that feeling. But you like feminists too, or what? I like shorties that have something going on for themselves, but like a business, or like a, there's nothing more attractive than a girl with their own business. Yeah. Because mm. it's like motivating to me. Just like, hustling, like I'm starting, I'm starting, I'm, sta- I'm trying to do my business, you know, I'm seeing her do her business. Like, yeah. bro, let's fucking grow. Like a fucking pyramid, bro. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then yeah, we go man. take those vacations and shit. Yeah. You know, shorties, I feel like just expect to get taken on vacations, but you gotta y'all ever take somebody on vacation? Yeah. 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 Y'all yeah. ever take somebody on vacation? Just on some San Diego. San Diego. <laughs> 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 that's, hey, that's San Diego, Vegas. Vegas. Short vacation. Yeah. yeah, San Diego, Vegas, stuff like that. But I noticed though that girls that have things going off for themselves, they don't date down, bro. Mm, yeah, facts. That's what I'm saying. So like, the harder, the 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 more money a girl has. I feel like it's the harder for them to find a guy. Mm. Same with guys, though. Nah, bro. A guy dates down, bro. Because I feel like it's even also too, like... The thing is that guys get... are open to, like... They're just like, fuck it. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> bro, a guy doesn't put value in, like, really... Like, if she got a lot of money or whatever. Because yeah. like, he's going to be paying for everything. Like, when you go out to eat and stuff like that, yeah, your shorty might pay for here and there, like, if she Man. sees it. But it's a, it's and a, that's also like it's lit when they're like, oh, they fuck with you that much that they're willing to like fucking. But if you're like worth a Bailey, bro, are you gonna be like, yeah, you're gonna date these shorties, but you're not gonna take them serious unless she got something going on for herself. If I got a Bailey, bro, and then that's a girl that works at Star Wars and she's hella good. But if I got a Bailey and she's a good girl, you're yeah, you know, you quit your job, bro. <laughs> quit your job. Like I'll, I'll take care <laughs> of your shit. Like I got a Bailey, bro, mm. and she's a good girl. But I don't think a girl would do that. Like if she had a Bailey. And she wouldn't date a guy that has working at Starbucks. What if you like the best bartender? Barista, barista. She is not going to fucking date down, bro. You start doing flips and shit. But I feel like people get intimidated by, like, women who either look good or got, like, oh, good things going we're by. We were talking about, about this, like, getting intimidated because somebody got it, like, better than you. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I've dated shorties, like, in their early 30s, middle 30s. Because I think it's also, like, you know, they, they're a little bit more established, like, emotionally. Or at least you'd hope uh-huh. they're a little more established. But I feel like it can, it can be intimidating if, like, Shadi is um, a couple more steps uh, further than you. Yeah. You know? And it's like... She'd be like, out dripping you. She yeah, has a better whip than you, better crib be, than you. She's picking you up. Yeah. You feel, like you, get, you feel like you'll get intimidated if a Shadi is winning more than I, you? I feel like it's, it feel, I, I think one of y'all said, like, a challenge is, like... It's but I like that, bro, because they bring out, uh, in a way, the way is, like, I see it is, like, they make you feel com- uncomfortable in a way yeah. that's good. That's also, like, I'm learning these things about myself yeah. because I'm interacting with people that are also approaching me differently. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. and that's my, that might be, like, the, the language at the time and stuff. And it might take me a little, a bit, little bit of time to, like, get used to it. But also it helps you grow and also be more open to, to just different people, different women, different... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I will, I'll, I'll date a shawty, bro, that has more money than me. Would you ever be, know, like, bro. a sugar baby? Not a sugar baby. Would you guys like, ever be a sugar baby, The thing is, yeah. the thing yeah. is that I, I'm, I'm down if it's coming from a place of love, not from a place of interest. Yeah. Because like, when I think of sugar, sugar baby, I think of like old ass lady, bro. Yeah, like, she's, like, 55. Yeah, because I see, I don't see it as a sugar <laughs> has in the sugar. aspect of, like, bro, like, they're just, I'm, I'm asking them for something or, like, oh, I want. No, it's, like, yeah. and let's say one of these days she pulls over, like, food. You know, and she's like, yo, no, what's up? She tells you, George, let's go to the Grove. Let's go to take your nash and buy your new fit. But you got to fuck me after. <laughs> 55, that, that sounds like a porn movie, bro. That's, <laughs> like <a> porn movie. <laughs> yeah, that, that's happening, bro. I mean, it hasn't happened to me, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'd be open yeah, to it, bro. Like, yeah. that for that? Yeah, you gonna treat me good? Like, 55 and shit? 60, 65. 65? She I divorced like her mom. Bro, 65, 50. she can't even pie, bro. I'm about to break her back. She gonna teach her a few things, bro. Ooh. I'm about to teach her a few things. <laughs> 65, bro, is crazy. Would you date... Would you date a girl that is like a sugar baby? Would I be a sugar baby? Like, yeah, she's like 65. I feel like it's hella degrading, bro. <laughs> no, it's still in a way, like, I'm just not used to, also, I'm not, I'm not used to just people just giving me shit like that, bro. Yeah. I'm also not, that's also, that might be just me, though, that I'm just not used to, I'm used to, like, a lot of times working for stuff or 
getting other, getting other people like I'm feeling love for other people I'm like right. yo let me get you this like let me get you like a drink or like I'm, I'm like oh I got the round on like the homie said oh yeah that's the that, bro like, when I'm, I'm always, when I'm, at I'm a always bar. more feeling like that like I'll get yeah. the round for the homies not someone get the round for me like I feel like I'm the one that has to like kind of step in the way always like that so I do I do see it like that or but when it's ever like there's a homie like when a lot of the homies do that that's why I'm like, oh, I just, that's just genuine. It's just yeah. very genuine and it's also very, like, Bro, if I'm out at a bar and then the shuddy's like, oh, I got you with this one. Uh, that shit's like a turn off for me, bro. That's yeah. a green flag, yeah. bro. Nah, I'll be damn. I've gotten a couple drinks paid for. I've gotten like, I mean. What's, yeah. the, what's the craziest shit that shuddy has bought you? I've gotten, I've gotten oh, drinks, so. that's wild. What's um, <laughs> pain for my whole, I took like a, uh, like a class on music theory, DJ and whatever. It was like 800, almost a rack for the class. Shawty paid for it. She paid for it. That's a birthday gift, bro. That was a birthday. She's like, you, because I, I had always been talking about it. Like, I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to learn this shit. And she's like, and she's like, then what's stopping you? I'm like, I'm like the money. And so like, uh, it was on yeah, because you got to invest, bro. Yeah, she, she invested in me too. Yeah. And I was like, that's and I low key told her like, yo, that, that, that's kind of dope. That's hella that's dope. Hella dope that's hella dope. dope. That's hella dope. That's hella dope. So I think shit like that too, like, yeah. And it's genuine, bro. Because yeah. in the way it's like, it's not a gift, bro. Because at the end of the day, it's not like a material it's possession. Yeah. Yeah. It's an investment. <clears throat> it's a class, bro. It's like it's you yeah. at the end of the day. It's yeah. you. And then like, and we fell off too. Um, but it was kind of like it. She she didn't come back like, oh, let me get that. Yeah. No, it was good intentions, bro. Huh? Who broke with who? Uh, it was me, I think, cause it was a straight from from. From the bay. We we were yeah in the bay, so she uh. Once she said it, I was like, yo, it's a wrap. Like, I'm, I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody that's unhappy. Oh, yeah. 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 And so, I mean, yeah. Because it's kind of like, um, I seen some bit staples, like, like um, some interview with Big Boy. He's like, now you're you're pushing your insecurities onto me. Yeah. And now we're both, and now we're both insecure over here. Or we're yeah. both like, you know, you're just pushing on your, you know, unhappy. you're unhappy. Now you're, you're making me unhappy type shit. Right. Like, yeah. in a way, when it's like, no, no one really needs it. You know? Right. You know? I don't know, bro. Or like dating shorties, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm big on like, I sure you gotta have a friends or support system. Cause I can't be spending like 24 seven like time with you. Yeah. Like, you gotta be able to go do your thing. And, that's, like, actually, that's actually, that's actually a good ass, like, that's, that's like a green flag when she has like good, like, like just friend. yeah. group of friends, bro. Yeah. Cause, what's the craziest thing I show you about you? A crib? Nah, it's good. <laughs> 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 just, nah, nothing crazy, bro. I think I'm not that way. I like get the homie some swag. <laughs> I know, for real. But I like it when a girl, like, let's say, I'm running out of two. It's just small things, bro, that yeah. you really like. They guys say, really they don't, say, bro. bro. Like, if a girl be like, oh, like, oh, I got you here too because I saw that it was running out. Or I got you mm. a fucking body watch because I saw that it was running out or whatever. Like, I, I fuck with that, bro. Because it shows that you really care. You're like, you're looking at shit. It's like, oh, I got you here though. Like, last time, like, last week, the shawty got me a whole fucking, like, body watch. Take, like, like, paper, like, everything, like, everything for my restaurant. But I was like, damn, I'm about to smash it with a rhino pill, bro. Have you guys ever taken a rhino pill? No, you know, no, no, bro, you were just telling me. We talking about poppers, bro, that, like, oh, poppers, bro. chicks yeah, like to take, so okay, so, like, chicks, dudes, people like to take poppers, and if you don't know what a popper is, it's like, they sell it, smoke shop, like, in our place, you can order it on Amazon, too, type shit, That's a smoke and then you, it's an inhalant, so you, um, is it the thing people used to work out? People, you do not want to take a popper and work out, bro. You better shit yourself. The smelly sauce that you probably, yeah, yeah, it's like to smell. People take them on raves, but basically, they take them up to loosen up your body, you know, loosen up your body. I think they use it to work out, bro. There's something, something that they be smelling, yeah. No, they're, I mean, some people use it for many things, bro. So, yeah, I don't know if it's poppers, though. Bro, I took the rhino pill one time, bro. Oh my god, bro, my head was hurting, bro. Like, I'll never do that. They said that you're only supposed to take half. They said, <laughs> well, I took the so whole shit, bro, that's and so I didn't even end up piping the shorty. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> so I just went home, all breaked up with a fucking headache, bro. I was like, yo. But if I'm gonna take something, I'd rather take the honey, bro. I ain't even gonna cut the honey. You never tried the honey? I've never tried the honey either. Honey or blue juice? Nah, blue juice gave me a headache, too. Yeah. yeah. Honey. The honey's pretty good. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, try the honey the out, bro. Honey Next day, time you see the shorty, bro, take half of that shit. I'm like, that looks like you have some good stories from off the honey. <laughs> bro, you'll be ready for three days, bro. Damn. Just like, shh. like, but you just take that, just take half of that shit, bro. <laughs> this one, this would try to eat in your pipe either. What? You try the honey, bro. Oh, in your pipe, what? bro. 
You're wild, I didn't say man. what? What? No, who said I didn't pipe? Huh? Who said I didn't pipe? Well, well, why would I take the honey and not pipe, bro? You said that you took the <laughs> honey and didn't pipe. He's trying to place with that camera, bro. No, like, bro. Were, why'd you lie, bro? What, what did I lie? You said you took it, you didn't even fight. That's wild accusations, bro. That's <laughs> wild accusations, bro. You, you, you tried the honey? Yeah. Yeah? And with the success rate? I took half, and it was good. It was good, huh? I'm telling I took you the whole thing. Cap, bro. Good, bro. What's the honey called? Bro, honey. They, they sell it at the smoke shop. There's like, there's like fake ones too. Smoke they sell it at the smoke shop, bro. Yeah. Shout out to smoke shop. Yeah, shout out. Yeah, shout out, shout out, shout out the smoke shop. Shout out Elevated. Shout out Sonora Town. Shout out. Bro, I don't really be taking it, but like if I'm gonna link up with a shorty for the first time, you gotta perform, bro. Bro, a customer thing. came in and was like, <laughs> customer came in and he was like, the shorty don't want me over if I don't bring two packs. Damn. Damn. The shorty said she was bringing two packs. Yeah, he's like, he's like, bro. He's like, I gotta get two, bro. My girl won't even want me over if I don't bring two. Type I shit. feel like you can't take that shit too much, though. No, you can't. I mean, don't I don't know, know bro, but that... that no, you rely like, on it, bro. You rely yeah. on it. Like, one time, like, I mean, I was taking that shit, like, because this is because I was like, this is back when I wasn't talking to Shadi, you know what I'm saying? Bro? She, she watching it, don't say nothing, you know what I'm saying? But, like and subscribe. <laughs> I was like, like and subscribe, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But bro, I was taking that shit too consistent, and then it'll come to a point where like you kind of feel subconsciously, mm. you're like you feel like you need it. Right. Like you'll still, it's it's like still be straight. Out. Yeah, yeah basically. Because that's what I'm saying. That's why I low key like fucking. I don't even with. like pre workout. Like I like doing my thing, like but like yeah. I kind of prefer sometimes being with one shotty because you already know that you guys are like sexually attracted or whatever. Yeah. But every single time you kind of meet a new girl, you have that feeling where you get kind of nervous. How long do you wait to pipe? First, like, first, first day. First date. Wow. First day. Do you think it's a red flag if you pipe the first day? Yes. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Unless it's like clear, like yo, we just trying to fuck. All right, fuck it. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know. You think it's like a re- like a red I line? think it's like it is it it's like it depends. Mm-hmm. Like I think if I if I'm attracted to you, yeah, I don't want to wait. Yeah. And I feel like that's for me. It's like I gotta consider. Like, do we do we match well in in the bedroom? But if you're not waiting, then the next guy's not waiting. The next guy's that's not true. waiting, bro. Like, so you gotta shoot. But I already have my whole routine whenever I go on a first date, bro. Like, we did you hear about the three hundred dollar rule? Oh, the three hundred dollar rule. Jeez. If you're not spending more than three hundred, you're not piping on a first date statistically. Jeez. Nah, it's cause guys got it wrong, bro. It's not about the money, bro. Like you gotta know where where to take her, how to take her, and what to do. Like yeah. I usually do spend like honestly, I spend like three hundred, four hundred on like yeah. first date because you get drinks and stuff like that. So you're spending three hundred over three hundred. I am. Take her to fucking Denny's. But pipe. I don't go to Denny's. <laughs> like I wouldn't. I get what you mean because my mom be telling me too. Like it's because <laughs> my mom be telling me like it's because you always take girls out to eat to these nice places and shit. I'm like, bro, it's I'm not gonna she, take she a girl. She even asked me once. She's like, you be. She's like, what, what do you think about about Uno taking? You my know, mom asked you. Yeah, remember? Hey, bro, when did you see my mom, bro? When we. Nah. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you were there. I was like, oh, yeah. but we was like, he's like, pero, you know, si te cuenta, you know, about this, this, and I was like, bro. <laughs> yeah. No, bro. But my thing is like, we'll go get dinner. We'll go get drinks. Then we're going out. To, 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 we're going to fuck. You know what I mean? Like. I always, I ain't gonna lie, now, now that I think about it, it's always been the first day for me, bro, but I don't see it as a, re- I do see it a little bit as a red flag, mm. but it's like, if you got game and you're making her feel good, and I, by nature, the shuddy's gonna wanna fuck. Like, I think that she's gonna wanna fuck. Yeah. Like, I feel like the, with the bar's so low right now that, like, I feel like I do the same thing you do. Like, I, I, like at least 300 minimum, and it's like an activity. Like, I'm not gonna take it to no movie, you know, nothing. Like, I'm gonna plan something for us to, to yeah. and we're we gonna be hopping around like shout out to little tokyo yeah so we're gonna grab you know some food a little drink here yeah had a little conversation are you trying to go to the crib no for, you can't take a shorty out to the movies on the first day hell no bro. That, that's a lot of mistake a lot of guys that's game too never take a shorty out to the movies, movies on the first day bro because you're not conversating yeah. you're just sitting there watching a movie bro that's good and then you still this is a time to take the shorty out on the first day to, to the movies this bro. was scared he took a shorty he was scared bro what? You're scared of what? I don't know. I don't even know what he's talking about. You got to stay under the loba. I'm playing with you, bro. She heard you, bro. I know she heard you. But, but it's, it's, switching up the topic, though, um, my boy has a, you have the Serato sweater untitled, on, bro. Untitled, and man. Serato undefeated. Bro, undefeated, I was like, yeah. everybody's undefeated today. Hector got the undefeated. Oh shit, what's up? Hey, shout uh, to undefeated. undefeated fucking pants. Get the party <laughs> sponsored. Undefeated, bro. Undefeated, bro. Wait, that's a Serato and undefeated collab? Undefeated, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I did funny. like a like a shout out to Serato. They did like a yeah, that's um, cool. they sponsored this event, like workshop series uh-huh. to teach like 
uh, black and Latino people how to like do production, like music production. Uh, so it was like a one day thing. I learned from dude, uh, all dude that produced for like Drake, SZA, Kendrick, and it was dope. And they gave us free sweat. That's oh shit, that's, that's lit. Sweater. Was it like yeah, a two piece or was just a sweater? Uh, the sweater, and then I have a shirt too. Oh, yo, nah, it's dope. cool, bro. So you saw more the beats, huh? Murder Beats was there. Murder Beats, nah. <laughs> is it Murder nah, Beats? I, I signed an NDA, so I can't. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I already signed an NDA to Pipe a Shoddy. Yeah. 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 Wait, 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 what? Like an NDA, like, uh, essentially it's like a non disclosure agreement. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, uh, but you see. Kind of like a uh, consent form. Yeah, like, no, you wait. can't talk about that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make yeah. them sign it too, like, shit. I mean, it's, way like, to, uh, it's a way to, I mean, it's always like, it's like a consent form. It's kind of like if you want to do, let's say when, when you go on a. Basically on like a roller coaster type yeah. shit, you know? yeah. or like something extreme when you throw yourself off a parachute, whatever's kind of like you're. Con- no, but like say you're popping, Joy. Say you got like a bunch of followers and shit. Would you take away their? Yeah, phone? that's what I was about to say. If I was popping, oh, yeah. Would you take away their phones and I make mean, them? I mean, in a way, shit? you have to just protect yourself. I'll take away their phones, bro. Leave your phones right there. It's Security. like not even. I mean, if you're making them sign that stuff and and you in the agreement already, you should include a clause that states that whatever they record on the phone, you know. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're popping and yeah. everybody's like right there's popping where you're at, I mean, kind of have to, bro. Like no phones and stuff like that, because I feel it's like kinda, sometimes it's protocol at some point. Yeah, you have a better right. experience without the phone, no? Like either, yeah, bro. Honestly, yeah. Bro. Cause shorties be on the phone twenty four seven. They could be plotting too, like yo, this was right here. Like I'm jumping. Yeah. A setup, bro. Have you ever felt like you guys have been set up? Nah, bro. Never. Like or about I've to? honestly been happy that like at least uh, it's been genuine interaction where they, it's not like. But that. they could do it by accident, bro. Did you hear about the one rapper that was eating at Roscoe's and then the shorty posted like the plate oh, and he got yeah. shot up. Da, 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 da. Who was it? Uh, Roscoe's. I was um. um Rest in peace. I know exactly who you're talking about. Isn't hey, bro, it, PNB Rock? PNB and Rock, right? Yeah. PNB Rock. So you don't go to the But they place. said, bro, that people, because I don't think he's from LA, but they said, like, yeah, who's, who's going to go to the Inglewood Roscoe's, bro? Yeah. But, like, in that case, he's like the one by LA Fitness on Sunset, no? I don't even remember that. The That's thing is, Roscoe's. that one's good, yeah. yeah. No one should be getting killed for like being. Nobody should be going to Roscoe's. But that's what I'm saying, bro. That's the that's the world that we live in, bro. Where it's you can't even go out to eat, bro. This food just went out to eat. And he got killed, bro. You got a post and I feel like when you like when you stunt, like I be hiding my chains and stuff too, cause it's yeah. like you like, and that's what like people come into LA thinking it's like a, like a you know, uh, like, like what they what they see in movies, yeah, yeah, what they see yeah. In movies. movies. But it's like not like once like people get into the street streets, it's like yo, you, you, you're really not from, bro. Yeah, yeah, well, cause we be in downtown all the time, you know. Yeah. In downtown, you see from the worst to like a celebrity walking by type yeah. shit, yeah. like all the time, bro. From like the popping celebrity popping youtuber popping comedians you'll see up there bro like not even like they weren't even they're not even gonna be fronting like anything bro right. they just ch- kicking back and mm-hmm. then you're gonna see like the like bombs everything people taking shits like straight up like open like you know yeah. from, so it's like a variety of range of like what you're gonna see you might yeah. you might be getting someone I've seen someone get jumped, get that's people downtown, start fighting. Though, huh? that's downtown. You get me? But that's it's downtown for you. Yeah, bro, that's downtown. Bro. Like that's also like a lot of the city too, though, bro. Like, a but lot if you of start going like, to like Beverly Hills, you don't see that shit. No, but you. I mean, there was a, a time where everybody was getting jumped, even right now, huh? Yeah, like, people, people are still getting like, like, There was Melrose this one guy that was eating at a restaurant, bro. Melrose is ghetto, bro. Melrose is not right. Like, and before Melrose, Melrose was some point was like. There was a guy in Beverly Hills, bro, that got his like three hundred thousand dollar watch, Richard Mann store from the restaurant, bro. And nobody did nothing. That food was just eating, bro, and that food someone just popped up and some weird shit. A hot hot wings too. Stole someone's fucking watch. Yeah, that's why I don't have a Rolex. (laughs) Because <laughs> yeah, I was gonna get one, but not anymore. But yeah, but it's no, just but at some point you gotta like, and the way the way we see it, the way we're brought up, if you're from the hood, you gotta like, not like you can't be flexing like that in some type of way. It's not, not even know the flex. You just gotta know how to move, bro. Like every single time yeah. I like get out anywhere, bro, it's kind of like, and notice that it's an instinct for me. Like yeah. if I get off a restaurant or I get out my car, the first thing I do is look to my side. Yeah, yeah. Like, I look to my side, look to my back. If I see someone that's also whatever, I don't even put it at risk. I just leave that situation like a or whatever. Type shit, bro, because we shouldn't be is. having to. Bro, you, I knew that I had to leave South Central when I remember one time I was entering my building, bro, and I was going up the steps, and then I was like, I was like 16, 17, and some guy was trying to sell me a gun, bro. If we just popped up that shit, he's like, oh, you need, you want to try to buy a strap? Yo, the camera just died, but we had to find the outro real quick. Peace out, guys. Peace out. Thank we got your boy Mal. Thank you, we got your boy Hector. Yes, Thank you for coming. We got the boy George. Yo, well, that was party number 17. Like, comment, subscribe. We're out.